Hi, I'm Stu from HiveMind Automation and welcome to The Hive. In this quick home automation tips video, I'm going to set up my Visual Studio Code text editor on my local machine with a Home Assistant integration that offers me some autocomplete options as well as syntax highlighting and other benefits. And I'm gonna to try to get it done in under five minutes, so let's not waste any more time and get to it. Obviously, you will need to have VS Code installed and I'll put a link in the description to download and install that for your platform. You'll see here at the moment that I've got my configuration.yaml file open and it's actually pretty uh, difficult to figure out where stuff is because there's no syntax highlighting. Once we've installed and opened Visual Studio Code, we need to go to the extensions menu down the left hand side and we're going to search for Home Assistant and we should find Home Assistant Config Helper and I'm going to install. Now that the extension is installed, we need to go to the code menu, then preferences and then settings. And we need to click on the, the expansion triangle for extensions and go to Home Assistant Config Helper. We need to tell it the URL of our Home Assistant instance. So CTPS and then I'm going to put in my duck DNS URL here. So and I also need to put the port number at the end. This is very important. Now, because I'm using my uh, demo instance here, I'm using port 8124 rather than port 8123. I've got this ignore certificates tick box ticked because at the moment I'm having some issues with my SSL certificate, so I'm leaving that ticked. And then we need to grab the long lived access token. Now to generate a long lived access token, we can do that over in Home Assistant and we're going to go to and click on my face here and scroll all the way down to a long lived access tokens. I'm going to click create token. I'm going to name it VS code and I'm going to click OK. Now that we've done that, we have our long lived access token and we need to make sure we highlight all of it and copy it because it will not be shown again. So we can click OK and we're going to paste that in here. And then I'm going to save that setting. Now what I'm gonna do is quit Visual Studio Code. So now that we've added those details into the configuration for Visual Studio Code and shut it down, we can drag the mounted folder in here to Visual Studio Code and we can open up the configuration.yaml file and you'll see that we now have syntax highlighting. And we'll also be able to, uh, in order, uh, if we were to start writing something in here, we could go platform and you'll see that it starts picking up uh, different auto completion options and it, um, it's very helpful for fast changing your YAML configuration files. So that's it for adding VS Code integration for Home Assistant. I do hope this helped you out in some way and this is something I wish someone had told me about when I first got started with tinkering around in the YAML for Home Assistant. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up down below, share it with your friends and family and if you're not already subscribed, please consider hitting the subscribe button and if you do, hit the bell icon as well so you get a notification when I release new videos. Lastly, if you would like to help support the channel, I do now have a buy me a coffee link in the video description down below. So if you want to help me to create more and better content, feel free to click that link and any contributions will go towards me doing so. Thanks for watching. I'm Stu from Hive Mind Automation and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.